Let's talk persuasion. Persuasion is the process of creating, reinforcing, or changing people's beliefs or actions. When we look at persuasion, it has a huge impact on our culture and on our economy. You might be persuaded by a friend to go to a movie or out to a certain restaurant. Advertising, marketing persuades us to buy products. Lawyers persuade that their client is innocent or that someone else is guilty. When we look at persuasion, we realize that with the advertisements that surround us, we are constantly inundated with persuasion. We're being persuaded to buy, to sell, to use, to not use, to vote for, to vote against, numerous things or people. And so when we dive into persuasion, we realize it is very complex and it's a challenging form of public speaking. With informative speaking, we're giving information. With persuasion, we're asking people to do something specific with that information. And with persuasion, we have to think about our audience's knowledge of the topic, how they feel about the topic, so their emotions, their attitudes, their beliefs, and even their values that all connect to our topic. We know that people hold different views and different opinions and different values and different beliefs. So as a result, when we're persuading an audience, we might be talking to people who are for our topic, strongly against our topic, or completely neutral about our topic. When we persuade, please remember ethics. Our goals in persuasion should be ethically sound. We need to use ethical methods as we communicate with other people. One easy way to do this is to actually be knowledgeable, do your research, be prepared in advance for what you're going to speak on. Realize that persuasion is a psychological process. It occurs when more than one point of view exists. And so when we're persuading, our listeners are going to process our messages through a mental dialogue. We are having a mental give and take with our audience throughout the entire speech. And so it's a process that we go through with the audience. So as we speak from the introduction through the body to the conclusion, the audience is interacting with our message. They're agreeing, they're disagreeing, they're acknowledging, they're considering our points of view all throughout the process. That means as a speaker, it's our job to step back and think about what our audience's reactions are going to be. What questions are they going to have? What thoughts are going to come into their mind? What emotions may they have or do we want to draw out? And so as a result, as we develop our persuasive speeches, we as speakers want to be very critical of what we're speaking about so that we can find holes in our persuasive speech and fill them with evidence and reasoning to help our audience follow our path of persuasion. And so when we persuade our audience, we also realize that there are some times when we might have a target audience in mind. A target audience is a portion of the whole audience that the speaker most wants to persuade. Every audience holds many different viewpoints. And so sometimes we try to reach a portion, a small segment of our audience, that target area with our audience even more than we would try to meet that whole audience. Advertising does this. If we watch advertisements on TV or in breaks on YouTube videos, we realize that all advertisements aren't directed just at me. They're directed at different segments or targets in the situation. One way that we can find out information about our audiences and their views on our topic or their beliefs about our topic is through audience analysis. We can do it through class discussion, through questionnaires, or by watching what our audience engages in, what they like. If we think back over speeches that our audience has already done, our classmates have done, it gives us a window into what they're interested in, what they like, and even what they dislike. I hope this has helped you have a basic understanding of what persuasion is and how to start thinking about persuading your audience for your speech.